When can I expect my tax refund? That's what many of us want to know as tax refund season approaches. With a free IRS e-file, you can get your refund in as little as eight days from when you file, if you elect for direct deposit, that is. Last year, for nine out of 10 taxpayers, the IRS issued tax refunds in less than 21 days from the date the return was received. While the IRS has not officially announced when it'll start accepting e-file tax returns, we expect that date to be January 23rd, 2024. In this video, we'll review potential early file or refund delays, the tax refund calendar, and how that calendar is impacted if you file for an extension. Hey everyone, this is Andy Hill with The College Investor, investing and personal finance for millennials. If you're new to the channel and like what you hear, please hit subscribe so you're ready when our next video comes out. Thanks. Here's why early filers will see a delay in their refunds this year. Honestly, early filers typically see a delay every year. We're hoping that this will likely not be as much of an issue this year due to minimal tax code changes, but we could see some curveballs. Remember, Congress passed a law that requires the IRS to hold all tax refunds, including the Earned Income Tax Credit, or the EITC, and the Additional Child Tax Credit, or the ACTC, until February 15th, 2024, regardless of how early the tax return was filed. So if you file on the first day, you might still be waiting until February 15th for your refund. This is due to the PATH Act. The IRS typically provides updates with direct deposit dates, assuming there are no other problems with the tax returns. We expect the actual first direct deposits to arrive the first week of February, similar to previous years. The goal of this is to cut down on fraud and give the IRS time to ensure no duplicate returns are filed. The trouble is the IRS will hold your entire tax refund, not just the EITC or the ACTC part. When you get your refund, make sure to not let it go to waste, my friends. Make sure you put it in a high yield savings account as soon as possible. You can check out our list of the best high yield savings accounts right now using the links below or by clicking the link in our video description. Okay, let's jump to the 2024 IRS refund schedule. Here's a chart of when you can expect your tax refund for when the return was accepted based on e-filing. This is an estimate based on past year's trends, but based on past information, it does seem accurate for about 90% of taxpayers. Also, as always, you can use the link in our video description to get your specific refund status. You can file your 2023 tax return anytime between January 23rd and April 15th, 2024. Now, what if you file a tax extension in 2024? If you file a tax extension in 2024, you can extend your tax deadline until October 15th, 2024. Remember, if you choose to file an extension, you are still Still required to pay any taxes you may owe by the April deadline. If you are expecting a tax refund, that doesn't really matter, but you still need to file to claim your refund. Here's a modified tax refund calendar specifically for those who filed a tax extension. We didn't want to clutter up the previous chart given the dates for filing an extension are typically six months later. However, the rule of 21 days on average still applies if you file a tax extension and claim your refund later. If for some reason you didn't receive your return in the time specified in our chart, give or take a few days, you can always use the IRS's tool called Get Refund Status. Once you enter all your information, it will tell you what is going on with your refund. Remember, if you input the wrong social security number, it could cause an IRS error code 9001 and might make your return be held for identity verification. As always, if you are concerned, you can call the IRS directly at 1-800-829-1040. Now let's talk about how to track your refund. The IRS has multiple ways that you can use to track your tax refund. The main ways to track your refund are as follows. IRS to go app, 
check my refund status online, or as we said, by calling the IRS. Note that the old where's my refund site is now simply called check my refund status on the IRS webpage. It's essentially the same tool. First, it starts with your tax software, tax preparer, or your paper refund. Once you submit it, the IRS receives it. To confirm the IRS receives it, you'll see the accepted message in your tracking software. All your tax return was accepted means is that it passed a basic test of having a valid social security number and some other important data. It doesn't mean anything except that it's in the IRS queue for processing. Your 21 day average starts from this point in time. If you filed before the IRS started accepting e-file submissions, your 21 day processing time starts from the IRS start date. At the 21 day mark, you should either see a message that says approved or take action. If you're approved, you should have a date and see your direct deposit in your account within a few days of that date, depending on your bank, of course. If you see a take action message, you may be subject to a tax offset or another issue. All right, let's talk about identity theft and cybersecurity when it comes to tax refunds. Did you know that identity theft, especially around tax season, is running rampant? People's credit information was stolen at Target, Home Home Depot, and even the state of California. Now is a great time to make sure that your credit is safe. You should be checking your credit at least once per year, and tax time is a great time to do that. We recommend using Credit Karma because it is free and very, very helpful, of course. Plus, Credit Karma has a lot of great tools to help you improve your credit if you need to, and they can help you monitor your credit over time as well. Well, enough from our side, everyone. We wanna hear from you. Please share in the comments on your refund dates to see how fast the IRS is working this year. Your comments in the comments section could really help people out who are waiting to get back their hard-earned money this season. Thanks for hanging out today, everyone. This is Andy from The College Investor. We'll see you in the next video.